the backswing in golf is one of the most scrutinized things in the game and it's also one of the things that sadly is just incorrectly taught. Well, I've got a simple drill for you today that I guarantee is going to fix three problems that you're probably doing in the backstroke. Matter of fact, it's a drill that I gave one of my students just the other day and they immediately started to improve and took seven strokes off their next round. I'm PGA Teaching Professional Todd Cope, Director of Instruction for US Golf TV and having been lucky enough to be teaching this game for well over 20 years, working with everybody from a beginner all the way to tour professionals, the backswing is where it all starts. Now, there are three common mistakes that I see a lot of weekend warriors, a lot of people who slice the golf ball. If you slice the golf ball, you're going to want to continue to listen to this because this is for you. But there's three common mistakes that I see a lot of them make. Number one is they get the club face opened up at the top. Now, when the club face is too opened up at the top, that in itself doesn't cause them to slice the golf ball or doesn't cause them to necessarily hit a lot of bad golf shots, but it does make them more prone to hitting those types of shots if they cannot fix it in the downstroke. So my philosophy is, hey, let's get the club face squared up at the top to begin with so we don't have to fix something on the bottom. And the drill I'm going to share with you at the end is going to help you do that. That's number one. Number two, a mistake in the backswing that a lot of golfers make is they tend to separate their elbows. This is this comes a lot, I think, from maybe lack of flexibility or just understanding how the body kind of works together. A common mistake, I guarantee you, if you're over 40 years old, you're probably doing this, and I know that because I'm over 40, and it's something that I got to keep track of. So that's number two. We're going to talk about what happens when the elbows are separating and how's that impacting our golf shots. Number three is a bad turn when the arms separate from the body. That also is a backswing mistake that I see a lot of golfers make that quite honestly they just can't do, but we've got a drill that's going to help you do that. So before we dive into the drill, we kind of dive into the details. Hey, be sure to leave a comment. I love hearing from you. Maybe you've got a specific backswing problem that's giving you fits. Maybe we can answer it for you. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't already and also follow us on Twitter and Instagram. We've got some great content there that's helping golfers all over the globe. Now, if the backswing is something that we're talking about here today, and we've already mentioned these three things, arms separating from the body, separated elbows, open club face, here's a simple way to fix that. Now I've got just a, this drill involves a big ball, a small ball, and a golf club. It's really simple. Now, if you're following golf, you've probably seen a lot of products that look kind of like this. It's really popular right now. I've been using this for over 10 years. And I'm seeing it more and more when I'm on the road on the tour. I'm seeing more and more of the players use something just like this. Now, why are they using it? Well, let's go through those first few things that we talked about with the backstroke. Number one is the open club face. So what you're going to do, if you think your club face is open up at the top, which it could be, you want to take the ball and you're going to basically position the ball kind of low down. I wouldn't say like by the wrist because it's not going to be able to get all the way down there, but way down on the forearms. Now, when the ball is positioned down by the forearms, it's going to naturally get your lead wrist, for me it's my left wrist, in what we call position where the club face is square. It kind of looks something like this. That allows me to get my club face more square. When the lead wrist is cupped this way, the club face stays open. Now, I want to say this because I've probably got some fellow golf instructors watching this. Just because the club face is open at the top, does not mean you're going to slice the golf ball. There are some people who play good golf with an open club face, but this isn't for tour professionals, right? This is for you watching this who's just playing maybe a couple times a week if you're lucky. You want to get that club face squared up at the top. When the ball is in there and you squeeze the ball, that's going to help you get that lead wrist in a better position, help you get that club face squared up. That's number one. Number two, we talked about separating of the elbows. Common mistake I see with a lot of people when they start to lose mobility in their body uh, and things like that. So what happens, they take the club away, the right elbow, for me, the trail elbow separates from the lead elbow and the club just gets in really bad positions. Tends to get a little steep, all types of bad stuff. So once again, you can fix this with simply taking the ball. This time, I'm gonna move it up just a little bit higher. So it's basically about halfway between my wrists and my elbow. And when it's in that, it's basically my forearm position, that allows me to keep the elbows a little bit more together. So when I get the club at the top, it's in a much better position. So that would be the second way that I would do this drill if you feel like your elbows are separated. The third one that we talked about here is just lack of, of a good quality turn. Now I believe, and I think if you look at the best ball strikers, especially a lot of the, uh, the younger players we're seeing come out, right? They keep their lead arm for me, my left arm pretty connected okay, to their chest. So I kind of like to take my lead arm on a side note here, a little bit of a, an extra tip for you. I like to take the lead arm 
and basically position it right on top of my pec muscle there and kind of keep it there. And when it stays there, that forces you to turn your entire body and rotate into a good spot versus the arms separating and running away from you. Bad position to be if you want to hit good quality golf shots. So I'm going to go back to my little ball here, right? This ball can accomplish a lot of things. But this time, I'm going to position a little bit higher, almost, I'm going to say up by the elbows. So when it's up in between the elbows, what you're going to feel is you're going to feel your arms kind of more connected to your chest. Not a, not necessarily a tight feeling, but more of a connected feeling. And if you can keep that on the back swing and on the forward swing, you're going to definitely improve your pivot and as a result hit better quality golf shots. So let's recap here because we've covered a lot of ground. And if you're still watching this, you're definitely learning some things that are helping you play better golf. And as I said earlier, be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. If you don't agree with this, that's okay. Let me hear from you. I want to hear that because I love the debate and maybe you can teach me something that I don't know. So three common mistakes. Number one, club face gets open. Okay, number two, elbow separate. Number three, bad pivot because arms are working away from the chest. Taking a ball, position it in a few different positions along the arms can fix that for you. It's a drill I've used for over 10 years. Matter of fact, I just used it the other day with a student in about three balls. Boom, they started hitting the golf ball better, and the next time they went out, they shaved five, six strokes off their score. So if you struggle with the backswing, if you're a little bit confused, this simple drill will help you do that. Be sure to subscribe, be sure to leave a comment. We love hearing from you, and stay tuned for more great information on how to help you play better golf.